carbon emissions, carbon trading, climate change, he says, she says, carbon this, carbon that. Talk about confusing. Oh, g'day. I'm CP. The, uh, yeah, that's short for carbon particle. Uh, though my shrink reckons it's more like completely paranoid, uh, what with all the flack I've been copping lately about my emissions. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't know why. <laughs> It's just me and the boys letting off a bit of steam. We're growing lanes. It's, hey, who says we're getting out of control? Huh? Who said that? No, was it you? Anyway, what's wrong with a bit of climate change anyway? Okay, so maybe there is a problem. And sure, me and the boys need to be kept under control. Now, I know these guys down at Climate Works, real smarty pants types, and they've come up with this thing they call the Low Carbon Growth Plan for Australia. Something that will cut me down to size and cut, cut, cut me down. Cut me down. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. The low carbon growth plan will cut me down to size, but also help make Australia more prosperous for the future. Things have started. And if everyone gets stuck into it, it will add up to what the scientists say we need this decade. And that's not just hot air. Aww. The Low Carbon Growth Plan has practical ways for householders, business, farmers and community groups to cut, 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 cut carbon emissions in ways that save money, increase business profits and even create jobs. The Low Carbon Growth Plan has 62 specific actions to reduce carbon emissions, which are broken down into three simple groups. The first one is energy efficiency. And I don't mean having a nice lie down. It's as simple as making sure the appliances you buy are more energy efficient. Or making sure that your next car is really fuel efficient. The second one is forestry and farming. That's all about how we manage the land more effectively. Like with farms and cattle and... Oh. Hello. Carbon can also be absorbed. <sighs> and stored in the soil, that is. Forest conservation and planting new trees is another great thing to do. Whee! Now, the third group, and my favorite, the power sector! This one really gets me going. <laughs> no, 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 it really gets me going. Electricity. Electricity, yeah! Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what came over me then. Okay, once again, the technology exists. There are renewable energy sources, like wind. And solar. And switching from coal to biogas electricity generation can cut carbon emissions in the short term in a huge way. Out, out, out! If things don't change now, by 2020, there'll be 690 million tonnes of me created. Whilst I am popular, that will be a bit crowded. But if you bite the bullet now, would you believe Australia can save at least 272 million tonnes of carbon? So, if you want to see something like this, this, and I'm sure you all do, join all the people across Australia who are using the low carbon growth plan in their homes, their businesses, and their communities. As for me, well, I'm off to my weekly therapy session. See ya. To find out more, check out CP's full length video at ClimateWorks website. Look for the case studies to see how people are already taking action.